Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to find out if your EVAP purge valve is stuck open. And in particular, this video is designed to show you how to test for an EVAP purge valve that's stuck open mechanically. This would be due to a mechanical fault inside the purge valve keeping it open. Do keep in mind that an EVAP purge valve can be stuck open due to a short circuit or a circuit malfunction or the PCM keeping the EVAP purge valve on all the time. This video is not designed to show you how to test for that. Now a stuck open EVAP purge valve can cause codes like a P0442 which is an EVAP small leak detected and also a P0455 which is an EVAP large leak detected amongst other codes. Also you can get symptoms like rough running uh, right after you fill up with gas or just a rough idle, things such as that. Okay, the first thing you want to do is remove the vapor delivery tube from the EVAP purge valve. And this is the tube that comes from the gas tank, or to the EVAP purge canister, excuse me. Now once that's done, go ahead and start the vehicle. And you want to disconnect your EVAP purge valve electrically, like that. And that way you know for sure that this isn't getting any kind of a signal or if this uh, circuit is shorted out or anything like that, it's not getting any kind of fault signal keeping the valve on. So it's totally separated electrically from the vehicle. Now, then you just take a wet finger, just wet your thumb a little bit, put it over the port there. If you feel any vacuum whatsoever, that valve is faulty, it's leaking. Now some of you guys may have EVAP purge valve that looks similar to this right here. You can see you got two nipples on it and two hoses on it. What you want to do in this case is find the hose that actually goes back to the EVAP purge canister and that would not be this one on, on this particular vehicle here because that goes to the back of the intake. So it would be this hose on this particular EVAP purge valve. So find the one that goes back to the canister and that's the hose you want to take off and then perform your test as shown earlier. Pretty simple, huh? I use that so much at the shop. I can't tell you how many EVAP purge valves that I've diagnosed that way. Very, very common issue, and it's a very, very easy diagnosis. Now, you may be wondering, is this gonna work on my vehicle, or does this apply to my vehicle? For the most part, in my experience, most of your EVAP purge valves are normally closed. So that means when there's no current being delivered to the valve, it's closed and that's been my experience with most makes and models out there this is a Ford vehicle right here but Chevrolet in my experience they work the same way as do Dodges Chrysler's Hyundai's uh, Honda's whatever you got that's been my experience albeit like I always say I don't know everything and there could be an exception to the rule out there but I'm pretty sure this is pretty applicable to 99% of the vehicles out there. Now one thing you do need to be aware of, whenever you do this, you are going to set a circuit code for the EVAP purge valve. So you'll need to have that code erased. Well folks, thank you so much again for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be happy to get to you as soon as I can. I will say, however, I've got a lot of videos out there and I am having a hard time keeping up. So if I don't get back to you, uh, soon. Don't get discouraged. I will try to get back to you. I can't promise you though. <laughs> I definitely can't promise you though. I, I'm getting a lot of uh, comments uh, across the board on my channel. Also guys, please read the entire description below before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge. I'll have some more very important information in there that you need to know. And also please read the disclaimer at the very end. Thank you again for watching guys. Please like and subscribe.